No makeup, no nothing. It's just super raw right now. I would love to touch on the topic of being a fat adapted ketogenic endurance athlete because in the keto world of people who eat high fat, moderate protein, and very low carb, like less than 50 grams of net carbs, there aren't a ton of people who are also endurance athletes, meaning that a sport that is primarily known as running on glucose or carbohydrates um, that's stored in the liver, that you've actually shifted how things are working so that you're running on fat, which how this relates to me is that I um, switched over to running on ketones, becoming fat adapted a little over a month ago. And I've spent the majority of my running life, the past five to six years, um, running on carbohydrate and running on glucose, like so many people do. But I decided to shift over and adopt that fat adapted diet. Um, where I think my net carbs were around 30 to 50 a day, um, which is relatively high for someone who is shifting over. But I guess for some reason I was able to adapt around 35 to 50 grams. Um, and I definitely started to include way more of the fats like grass-fed butter, coconut oil, avocado, some mac nuts, a lot of people aren't so um, keen on the mac nuts, but I do include those. And I just saw that I could start to still, I could, I was still able to have my endurance and run for an hour or longer uh, while fat adapted. So the thing about this that I'm doing is I want to train like this, fully fat adapted, for as long as I can and try to run for long periods of time for either half marathon, marathon um, distances, fully fat adapted. But I'm also open to the idea of introducing carb, uh, quick carbs in the middle of a race like a marathon. Say if I was trying to run, my goal is to run a 245 marathon, and which is very ambitious. That's the Olympic trials qualifying time to make it to uh, the Tokyo 2020 Olympic trials. So what I want to do is spend the winter um, training like this and see how it goes. And so far I'm one month in. Uh, I would love to try to incorporate carb ups just to see how it affects my training. But at the same time, I'm going to keep riding the, the keto wave until I feel like I need to do a carb up. But instead of trying to predict exactly when I'll do everything. I'm just going to go by feel and see how it works. But so yeah, that's just the introduction of being a ketogenic endurance athlete. I'm going to just continue to post videos about uh, exactly the steps I took to becoming ketogenic and what kind of ways I use to track my ketones and foods I eat, etc, etc.